Welcome back to RG Geek. So I've been a console gamer for a long time now. I haven't played on PC in 18 years. I was playing Need for Speed Underground 2. But I went all in with a steering wheel and pedals. <laughs> a glorious year in New York City. Oh, there I go. I'm in. And it keeps shocking me how fast this thing starts up. Because... <laughs> I remember Windows machines took a long time to start up. So I'm just like, amazing. And there's our Armory Create. I'm really amazed at how well Asus gave the PC the most console-like experience possible. But as you can see here, <laughs> having issues already. If this will work, yeah. Sometimes I booted this up and just the D-pad doesn't work. And then it's like, okay, what do I do now? I try closing and opening again. Let's try opening again. Nope, still doesn't work. Let's restart. You're right, it doesn't work anymore. Let's restart it. All right. I was not able to start correctly. Awesome. So, I mean, that's the PC side of things, right? Things just don't work like you expect them to. They usually work, and when they work, this machine's amazing. And I've been shocked at, like, the fact that, yeah, like that, some of those things just don't work like that, and you're troubleshooting them. Um, and all the updates are insane. Like, like, you're updating Windows and BIOS and apps on every platform, like the Microsoft Store included, Armory Crate. Oh, yeah. Ah, another BIOS update! I mean, it's nice to have this fingerprint sensor though. It feels a bit like the iPad. Well, it's not as good as the iPad sensor, I have to say. Will you also be updating like Armory Create? That was that interface you just saw earlier with all the apps on it. Which apparently this time isn't loading automatically. Or is it? Okay, that's Discord. I don't need Discord running now. Close our Discord. No, close it. Yeah, there we go. All right, now let's load Armory Create. Is it gonna work? Let's see. But yeah, there's updates for everything. Also my, my Asus. I also created an Asus account been kind of overwhelming. Oh, Armory Crate didn't load. Awesome. Try it one more time. Um, you come from a console point of view and everything just works. You buy stuff, but you're also limited to what store you can buy stuff on. And why is this not working again? This is so weird. Oh! I'm silly. I disabled the embedded controller because I had it docked earlier. That's my bad then. But, um... Nice to have a little warning there, I guess. But anyway, it's PC. What do, what do you need a warning for? You'll just figure it out, won't you? All right. There's a, there's a bunch of launchers here. But if you, these are my most recently played games. If you can sort, you can sort by platform, which is nice. You can see this is 32 Steam games. I'm relatively new to PC gaming, as you see, so I don't have much yet. A bunch of stuff I just got over the years and just saw like free, special, or something was really cheap, Epic Games. I still can't get Rocket League to work with an external controller. It's like on my Xbox and PS4 that just works. Don't need to think about it, don't need to think about settings. But kind of, you get this flexibility, like you get Windows gaming, you can do what you want. Like you're not limited like by a Switch where you're limited to only the things Nintendo wants to sell you. Uh, so it's been liberating, to, for one thing. Um, it's also just been frustrating on the other hand. It's really this double-edged sword. And when you get one of these things, you really got to connect a physical keyboard, because it's just not going to cut it without one. So I use this physical keyboard. I actually got the Heathrow, London Heathrow Airport a while back, because it was so cheap. Nice QWERTY keyboard from the UK, the trackpad. Uh, I find it's not always connecting so well. Um, 
Generally it works well, occasionally it has stutters, but I'm gonna get into that more in the doc video I'm gonna make. And I really like, this mouse has been amazing. It's Logitech. I can put links to these in the description as well. And it even has three settings, so I can put my Mac at number one, I have this PC at number two, and I have my girlfriend's Mac at number three, when she wants to borrow it. So this has been an Epic Mouse MX Master 3, it's called. I can read that right there. Kind of amazing with a dock that you can just have like this couch windows experience. And also, I'm, I'm a Mac guy, so this has all been pretty epic for me. Like, I was a bit disappointed because I found that my on my desk, I had an old monitor, so like I couldn't connect. There's no way to connect HDMI to it, so I was like, eh, oh well. But I mean, I use my Mac at my desk, I use my PC on my couch, it's perfectly fine. Or I can also use my Mac on the couch. <laughs> it's, a, it's a MacBook, so it's pretty epic that you can just get things from different sources. Like I can be like, I'll get this from Steam, or I'll get this from Humble Bundle, or I'll get this from straight direct from Microsoft or from itch.io. Of the itch.io, you have to do something specially going to show up here because it's not natively supported. You go into add, you go into add, there it goes. And then down here, you have to go to hit LB or RB to open the file explorer. Then you would go through and you'd find, well, this is Golf Peaks. So I'd add Golf Peaks here. And then Golf Peaks will appear in the list and then you can um, select it. And then you go in there and you can like rename it into a normal file because it'll be golfpeaks.exe, which you don't want as a title. I don't know why they don't just remove the .exe. Most of them will just come out properly that way. But it's early. It's like a month after they released it. So things are still being changed on their end. Updates, lots of updates. I like that somebody called this the Update Simulator. It's so perfect. It's a great name for it. And one thing I like, though, and other people aren't talking about is, like, I love card games. Like, no other console I don't think you can play Dominion on. I just go into here. For some reason, the keyboard pops up. That's great, but it's fine. The, the whole launching experience has been weird as a console gamer. It's like, why do I need these launchers? Why don't games just launch and run and but now you get used to it you get used to knowing games gonna take like 10 seconds to start other than like the xbox where it's instant resume but yeah there we go you might say this doesn't support a keyboard what do i do well i go in here change from gamepad mode to desktop mode and check this out i go move this and i can select here new game boom so I can play even these um, like keyboard games straight from the handheld, which I think is amazing. For some reason I had this, so this is, this is a left click on the RB and right click on LB. Apparently by default it's, this is left click and the trigger is right click. I don't know if I said, messed it up in default, so they changed that in the system update. But I just love, I just come in here and hit play and boom, I'm playing this card game. I mean, I can tap the screen too here. This is nice. Well, normally I can tap the screen. I don't that Maybe I'm just not precise enough. Normally it works, I don't know. Um, there, I see all the cards, but it's neat. You can, you can tap the screen, you can move your cursor around. It's chill and right click. And there, I look at the cards and I'm just playing this neat little PC card game. I like my card games a lot. Um, yeah. Speaking of card games, I've been playing Slay the Spire a ton on here. Uh, oh, as a uh, console gamer, I'm also kind of get really annoying to figure out how do you quit out of every single game you want to play? Because it's like every single game has a different way to quit out of it. Like, oh yeah, there's a big X in the corner. Okay, that's how you do it here. But I mean, these are all drawbacks of PC. But I'm, I'm also just kind of amazed how Asus just did this work in making this armory crate, where it's the, I think it's the most console-like experience you can have on PC as possible. It's kind of awesome. You don't have to go directly into these launchers. You can launch everything from here. I do like Steam Big Picture mode quite a lot. But you've probably seen that in other videos. But of course, if you're in Steam Big Picture mode, you can only play Steam games. Which makes sense. And I've been surprised how 
bad the Xbox app is on here. Like, I'm like, really, guys? But uh, the worst was the Ubisoft app. Like, I often can't even navigate things with the um, controller. I just can show that for a second. Oh, and that's booting up. I can show you this is a stand that came with it, which is funny because everyone makes fun of this little plastic stand or styrofoam. Styrofoam, I think. And then everyone uses it because <laughs> they don't have another stand because it's a chunky boy. That's pretty thick here. Um, okay, so let's load and go into the Ubisoft and now try and navigate around. Nothing happens. You can't. Oh. Yeah, it's like this is not a console experience at all. And even like I'm trying to scroll, I can't scroll. And I'm just like, this is horrible. So there's my library, all well, the games I got on um, Stadia, which is awesome of Ubisoft to just give me these games I bought on Stadia and uh, they were fun to me too. And I can play them here, but this launcher is just terrible. And if I try to shop, it's like, I can't scroll around the shop. <laughs> it's like, uh, and this is even the beta, like this is, I tried in standard too and it's the same issues and I'm just like, come on Ubisoft, you're this big huge company and you can't make a decent launcher. I also go into the armory crate with this uh, taskbar. Um, yeah, I do like they've made this neat little pop-up here where you can do things like change the, how many watts it's getting. There'll be 30 watts on, um, if it's plugged in as well. Here's the charging cable you get with it. This is a 65 watt um, power adapter, or power adapter, power plug. But if you want to get 30 watts with the hub, like say so you want to have your keyboard plugged in or um, video going out to a TV or a monitor, you need to get a 100 watt um, cord, but I'm going to talk about that in a future video. So I've also been really enjoying Demon's Tilt. But on practical side, I've been finding I really love playing this on the balcony. Like just such an amazing experience to sit here and play Demon's Tilt, for example, and just be amazed at <laughs> I'm playing this awesome game on my balcony. And then go to bed, carry it to bed, play a little bit there, go to sleep, put it on the stand. It's awesome. I mean, despite all my complaints, it's pretty amazing just having the power of this machine. The, the only game I played on it that didn't run well was um, yeah, EA Sports PGA Tour. It just came out. I mean, I guess it's just made for next-gen consoles, so it um, was unfortunate. It's playable, because, I mean, while you're swinging, you don't have an issue, but the animation's a bit jittery. I, there's probably ways I can optimize it, but I'm just like, I don't want to get into that. Um, I'm a console gamer, you know, I just want things to work. I'll do a little bit maybe, check it around, but... Oh, another great game, I love Centipede Recharged on here. It's just such a blast, simple game, moving around, blasting some centipedes. And if you compare it with the Steam Deck, you just see that, like, the Ally's more flexible, more powerful, but it's also more hassle. <laughs> You'll be doing a lot more maintenance and updates and tweaking you get all those steam ready games and steam and you get this like the games instantly go to sleep they instantly wake up they just things just work and you just have to update steam os so if you really want more like a console gaming experience then yeah the steam deck is great if you want more flexibility more of a windows experience i would personally recommend the ally i really enjoyed having this and i am looking forward to it and stay tuned for my videos about uh a duck I particularly enjoy, and a hard case I got in from China just today. So if you want to see those videos, hit subscribe. If you want to help me with such purchases, um, hit me up on Patreon here. And keep it real, and enjoy your ally if you have one, or enjoy buying one if you don't. <laughs> and I'll see you next time on RG Geek.